Pink talks about her brutal battle with coronavirus and her greatest concern for America. Welcome to Extra. I'm Billy Bush. Pink and her son, Jameson, both got quite sick. Today, she's telling us how they got through it. This is every parent's worst fear. Pink tested positive for the coronavirus and revealed her son got the brunt of it. She detailed what she called their roller coaster fight with their sickness in an Instagram chat with author Jen Pasteloff. After two weeks, they are doing better and have both now tested negative for COVID-19. She's putting her money where her mouth is and pledging a million dollars to fight the virus. She waited to speak out because she didn't want to make it all about herself. Wendy Williams is still home, but she's getting back on the air. Where the heck are you, Wendy? What is going on in there? I'm in my bachelorette pad, Billy. This is my uh, studio. What's your state of mind? I'm nervous about what people are gonna do when this is all over, because Billy, I can tell you one thing right now. I still won't be shaking hands. I will not be hugging. I know the Wendy studio, the way I want it done is we're gonna remove a lot of those seats so people have distancing. And she reveals one sweet perk to being in quarantine. My best eating gets done during the happiest times of my life. But you're not eating very much? You're gonna lose weight in quarantine? I'm blowing up like a tick. I've already lost like five pounds and I don't have a scale, but I can feel it in my clothing. And we're back with Dr. Dorian now. The Surgeon General, Jerome Adams, says this coming week is gonna be like our Pearl Harbor. What does that mean? That means this is the peak of the entire curve that we've been talking about, specifically for New York this week. But with that, we have to know that there's patients who are watching the TV. And when you say it's our Pearl Harbor, we have to know that we can't break their will. Are there signs that we are flattening the curve to, to some degree? Have you seen things on your end that are hopeful? Yeah, when we're looking at the mathematical models for the cities that were fortunate enough to start the distancing sooner than New York, we're actually seeing the models showing flattening, which is amazing. The key for that, again, is when it flattens, that means our hospital systems can handle the surge. Dr. Fauci says about half of those with the virus could be asymptomatic. How alarming is that? That's the most alarming part about this virus is because you don't know you have it and you are actually spreading it. Hence, the recommendation for putting masks on or the non-medical masks. But that in then That's itself- That's not to prevent you from getting it. It's to prevent you, if you're asymptomatic, from giving it to someone bingo, else. Bingo, that's so important. That's from, for you to put it on when you go to the grocery so you don't spread it to somebody else. Every time you take off the mask, you have to wash it or throw it away, right? Yeah, here are the problems. I mean, we talked about it, asymptomatic, you're covering it to protect yourself, but it's still porous. So if you cough in that mask, it's not a medical mask. It's still gonna go through. So what happens? Problem number one, people feel a false sense of security and what do they do? They don't do the distancing. They, oh, I got a mask on, so I don't have to be so far yeah. away. The second thing is they don't sanitize their hands as often. Then when you have a mask on, it's proven that you touch your face more because you're constantly adjusting the mask. So you have an increased chance of spreading the illness. And finally, the really important thing is that mask, which is non-medical, it's cloth laden, the virus sits in those droplets because it's humid in there. You take that mask off, if you don't immediately wash it and you put it on in a desk. In boiling water. Yeah, you put it on a desk, now the virus is on that desk for some unwitting person to come touch it and then put it in their mouth and there you go, it keeps spreading the disease. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.